today we're starting a new project. Um, there are 280 acres here. Um, that is uh, 14 20 acre parcels. And currently there is this, this road you can see behind me that weaves through this, this property. And when you get up on top of the property, there are some amazing views out over the valley. Really, really pretty property. This is a little bit south of us. Um, uh, we're up in Sandpoint, Idaho. Um, as many of you know that we've got a subdivision that we bought 40 acres and we subdivided that into eight five acre parcels. And we've got those for sale. Um, but we had some, some really nice folks uh, contact us and say, hey, we've got this property, we've got a whole bunch of land in different places. Would you be interested in working with us to develop roads and bring in utilities? Um, and so this is, this is a kind of phase one on this particular development. And the plan is to improve the roads. As you can see, there's not much more than a four-wheeler trail behind me. Um, but we're going to widen these roads to 16 foot. We're going to put in ditches and make it very easy to access these 20 acre parcels. And, um, and then we're going to come back and bring in power. So there'll be power to the property. Um, each of these parcels will end up ultimately having power. And um, in this area, there are a lot of 20 acre parcels. Uh, that are off-grid or up on the side of a mountain and you can pick those up relatively um, inexpensive. The issue is if you don't have power it's hard to find a lending institution that will finance your build project or let you build a house and so people end up pitching a tent or putting up a yurt or a teepee and living off-grid on the top of a mountain which is which is just fine but I I think there is greater value for a homeowner and certainly a product that they can be a lot more proud of if you put in nice roads that would be a lot easier to, to plow in the winter time to give you winter time access and certainly power to the property so that you can have an option for financing. Even if you're a cash customer where you're going to pay cash for everything and build your house and you don't need to go to a bank to, to to get a loan down the road if you ever wanted to sell that. You've lived there, you're getting a little older, uh, you want to be closer to family or life, life happens and things change, then having the option to sell it to somebody who can get a mortgage is a better financial decision than keeping yourself limited because your property is off-grid. Now, not against off-grid, I just think for <clears throat> those of us that want to invest in our house and in our property, we want to keep our options open and having the ability to, to sell that to somebody that can get financing is a really important consideration as you look down the road. Um, I'm going to do quite a few videos on this one. There's a lot I want to share um, from, from the development side. Gosh, it's sunny. Um, there's, I don't even know where to start. I guess, I guess we'll get into that later. Talking about utilities, talking about what to look for when you're purchasing land, uh, talking about the total cost of buying land. Um, for example, what's it going to take to keep access open in the winter time? Uh, what's it going to take to put in a well, uh, put in the septic? We'll talk about soils, those types of things. So if you're interested in moving to